family gathered to go through lost photographs of a childhood long gone and a mother they still miss decades after she disappeared, leading their quest to uncover that woman's legacy. It's a documentary featured in the Heartland International Film Festival. Here's a clip from the trailer. The way we were, the way we suffered, the way we been treated. She was fearless. She could move a group. She'd have <laughs> these people in tears telling her story. She wasn't afraid to say whatever she had to say, whether it was a politician or a worker. Or... I guess we got rights, and it's time to ask for justice. And then one day she disappeared, and I don't know what happened. Conoce usted a María Moreno? ¿Dónde podría localizarse? There are 273 listings for a María Moreno. That's it. Oh, right here. There it is. Oh, my goodness. And if that got you interested, there's just so much more to that. Joining us today, Laura Coyle, the director, and um, Olivia Portugal, who you're who the mother is all about. Um, how was it like walking alongside Laura in the film to rediscover what maybe you didn't know before? Well, it's been a, a real journey, mm -hmm. and it's been wonderful. You know, we've become great friends, yeah. and I'm just really um, happy. You know that she was, you know, brought my mother's uh, like uh, face. Yeah. Uh, to life. And again. that's Mar Maria Moreno. Yeah. How that's did you come Marino. across her story to begin with? Well, I've been uh, directing and producing documentaries, uh, history mm -hmm. films actually, for television for many years. And I was struck by the fact that the overwhelming majority of them were about illustrious men and that women were really kind of invisible. Yeah. So when I was working on a film about Cesar Chavez, I found this stash of hundreds of photographs oh. of this very charismatic looking woman, Maria Moreno who had her 12 children in tow. Wow. And I said, wow, how is she doing this? Yeah. Someday I'm going to track her down. And that became the film, was my search to find Maria mm -hmm. and her legacy. What do you think the takeaway is for people who see this film for the first time? For me, the takeaway is just the importance of women having a say, women having their voices, as particularly at a time mm -hmm. when they were really in the background. Mm -hmm. And the other takeaway is that Maria was a truly remarkable individual in terms of bringing people together who had been divided mm -hmm. before. She mm -hmm. was elected by a group of Oki, Arki, African American, Filipino, and Mexican American mm -hmm. farm workers. And here she was, a Mexican American woman with a second grade education and wow. 12 children and she was elected as the leader of their group so that's very inspiring story oh, and it's sure. a story that I really hope will inspire other young women to get involved and be uh, active in their yeah. communities and for you, you I'm sure you learned a lot about your mother that you never knew what was what was that like uh, it's to just you know when I seen my mother uh, like I was very little when she was, uh, you know, doing all this work. So it was amazing to me, mm -hmm. you know, to see like, wow, you know, Mama, you, you were to me it was a hero, you know, yeah. uh, that she was did all that mm -hmm. and with a bunch of little chickens, you know, <laughs> <laughs> hanging behind yeah. her. But she was amazing and really strong. Of course. Uh, so if someone, if someone wants to see this, now that they've gotten a little teaser here on uh, Midday, where can they see it? Well, the movie will be showing two more times as part of the Heartland Film Festival. And uh, it'll be on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. at Traders Point Theater. And then again on Saturday, October 20th at DeBost Hall at Newfields. All right. Thank you, ladies, both for joining us. Steph, thank you're standing you. by. Uh, looking like a, a typical fall day today, uh, huh? Absolutely. And I think it'd be a great...